What's up, everybody? It's another episode of my kitchen table conversation. Let's go! What's up, everybody? Pastor O here, and man, it's another episode of our Kitchen Table Conversation. And I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about the topic of shepherding. Now, I know that's a probably not a normal term that a lot of you think, a lot of times when we think of shepherding, we think of animals, and that's not what I want to talk about today. Uh, today, I want to talk about how God has called me, guys like me, to be pastors, and he refers to us as people, as sheep, and he puts us as shepherds over people who are sheep. There are two passages of scripture that I think about when I think about this term shepherding. The first is 1 Peter chapter 5. Um, we see Peter here, he's talking to the elders, which is what I am, who I am, an elder in the church, pastor. Here's what he says. He said, I exhort you, the elders among you, as follow, fellow uh, elders and witnesses to the suffering of Christ as well as one who shares in the glory about to be revealed. And here's what he said, shepherd God's flock among you, not overseeing out of compulsion or being willing, uh, or, or, or compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you not out of greed for money, but eagerly doing it with heart, man, committed to just loving people, not lording over those uh, entrusted to you, but being an example to the flock. And man, I know that's a lot there and a whole lot of words there, but one of the things I love about this passage is it really speaks to the heart of the matter that, that we've been called as pastors and elders to shepherd the flock of God that has been entrusted to us. It's the second passage I love is a passage that we find in Hebrews. And I love this passage. Uh, it speaks of like what God did when he gave me this responsibility. Hebrews chapter uh, uh, 13 verse 17 uh, says this. Don't miss this. This is so good. It says this. Um, uh, I love it. Obey your leaders and submit to them since they keep watch over your soul as those who will give an account so that they can do this with joy and not grief for that would be unprofitable for you. So what is uh, the writer here? What is Paul saying to the church here? He's saying, listen, if you are a part of the body of Christ, obey your leaders, not out of this idea of your, you, you know, like, like uh, uh, authority, finger on people. No, 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 no. It's the idea that we are obeying leaders because God has put me in charge of your soul. Now I gotta tell you something, I didn't ask for that assignment, God gave me that assignment. Especially in a season like we're in now, to shepherd the flock of God. And if you're watching this, you're a part of Mission City Church, that is you. You are the flock of God that God has called me to be an under shepherd, to him, the great shepherd, and keep watch over you. I'm responsible for your soul. Man, we are doing whatever we can to shepherd the flock of God. And we wanna take care of you. In just a few days, you're gonna see a survey that's gonna roll out. And I wanna encourage you to take that survey. It's a shepherding survey. It answers some questions that help us understand how are we doing, what's going on, are we are we are we taking care of you? Are there needs that are out there that are unmet? Man, I want you to understand at this kitchen table conversation that one of the most important things to this pastor is to shepherd you well. And we're putting all these measures in place so that we can take care of you, so that we can get through this season, so that we understand that we're better together. And I am taking the role of responsibility for your soul and to shepherd you seriously. And man, let's get it done. So when that survey comes out, don't overlook it. Man, fill it out. Take a minute, fill it out, and let us know how we're doing. Mission City Church and the rest of the uh, world on the internet, so Social media feeds, we love you, we care for you, and we wanna take this opportunity to shepherd you. Man, that's my kitchen table conversation where we talk about life lessons and leadership tips that we're learning. And man, one of the things that we talk about today is shepherding the flock of God. Come on, Mission City Church, let's get it done. We're gonna get through this and it's gonna be, and we're gonna be better and it's gonna be greater than we've ever encountered before. I love you guys, it's a joy to serve you and it's a joy to shepherd you. I'm out.